Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope nobody got fooled today. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I would like for the storm to say April Fool's. When round you? <laughs> I would like that for you, too. I think that would be good. So let's jump in and see what are you ladies reading today or this evening? Oh, crap. we got to talk about books. No, I can't. <laughs> Uh, oh shoot that's what we're here for that's yeah here. i um finished well i have like three minutes left of witless protection program okay and on audio and then i'm not sure what i'm gonna start and then on ebook i'm on page like three of an escape go by jana rawlings so i mm -hmm. just started it but i'm really looking forward to it excellent excellent how about you storm <gasps> We have a special guest. Hi. Yay. 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 How <laughs> are you? I just finished everything and ran home. I was like, I was like, Mark's trying to talk to me. I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you look fantastic. Yes, Thanks. she does. Thanks. Thank you. You look great. So I started Encyclopedia Brown Solves It All. It's like number five in the Encyclopedia Browns for Old School April. Oh, I decided to start that one. Nice. What? Well, we are competing with old school April's kickoff. So yeah, I saw that. I'm uh, like, we, is there really a storm storm or are you just going to yeah. be on there? <laughs> I was, like, I, I was on there. For, I was, was hanging like, out in the chat for a little bit earlier, but yeah. She'll jump into theirs when I'm, uh, when we're stopped. <laughs> yeah. What are they doing? You're fine. Don't, I, I'll allow it. <laughs> but, um, I am starting this one. Which is um, the Mysteries of Paris by Eugene Sue, the big chunky. Oh, the chunky monkey. Yeah, that is yeah. Our our goal is to like read one story, I think, a day or whatever, and we should be able to finish one book this month. And we're just gonna like go by book, I think, because there's like a whole bunch of books, like mm. books in here, but each mm. there's a story, and I don't think like like the first like story is like i think like three eight eight pages maybe or whatever oh, so okay. it's like just like a story a night or something maybe mm -hmm. she's already i think done hers and like has left a little bit of a thing on her discord so i'm like i'll get to it tonight so that's what you're gonna do because i haven't done it yet your that's homework crazy. assignment for tonight is yeah <laughs> what are you reading lee i am reading Amish Country Murder. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. And I'm, Who's that by? I'm about to tell you right now. And I'm sorry. Uh, I totally forgot to mention Amish in April when I did my TBR. Like, totally. Shh. Shh. Amish in April. It's by Mary Alford. Thank oh. you. And uh, I am. Oh, it's a love inspired. Nice. Inspired, yeah. Nice. Love inspired, love inspired suspense. suspense. Yes. Yeah. So here's what I'll tell you. Like, so book one has 21 chapters. So mm. oh, wow. you know, we should be able to finish wow. like that first book by the end of the month. If we do like one, you know, a day or whatever. That's cool. And I think there's like 90 books or something like that. I mean, there's a lot of books and everything. Yeah. It, it is a chunky beast. So we're just doing, you know, so much a month until we get it done. So. I might read that one with you, Lee. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say Storm. I was like, <laughs> I ain't reading that one with you, Storm. I'm sorry. I love you, but not that much. That was gonna say that's a, that was really nonchalant to commit yourself to. Like, if anybody wants to join me and Nicole, though, she has a like a Discord, so we can get to hook up. But you know, that's funny. But she she's liking it so far. But she's like a, a big classic person, so we'll see, mm -hmm. right? Is that it? The only one that you're reading there, uh, Lee, right now? That's all I'm reading right now. I'm just trying to get through this one. I do have some other Amish ones. I have a lot of Amish ones. And I, then... I, I went and, uh, and borrowed from Hoopla the, I think, the fourth Amish matchmaker one. Because mm -hmm. I'm behind because there's two of them out now that I haven't read yet. So I'm like, oh, I'm behind. So there's like, oh, Amish in April. There we do that. Right? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Yeah, I did see a lot of them are on Hoopla, so I'm like, okay, I can get these. 
But give me the murderous, the very murderous Amish. Give me the uh, the one that I've got, which is the Amish um, uh, true crime book that I have. And, uh, you know, a good old Kate Burke holder. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like, I've got to try to see if I can make time for, for another one. one. I usually read at least one during Amish. The Kate Burkholder books are so good on audio. I mean, it, they're yeah. so good. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm up to like book five or six somewhere around there. Wow. Something like that. You know, I found this one pretty good. Like right away, I was like super interested. So excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'll have to join you on that one mm -hmm. because I currently have nothing that I'm reading. Not a thing. No. I, yeah, no, I know. So suggestions in the comments, please. But well, I think so my, my, was my encyclopedia Brown while I was watching the old school April people. I'm like, I haven't, I don't even know what I'm going to read. I'm watching <laughs> like an old school Jane Eyre from 1983. It's like the Ooh. one that's like a series. It's got Timothy Dalton in it. I like Timothy Dalton. Ooh. And I'm like, look at this. I, I didn't even mean to do old school and I'm already old school. <laughs> on, you know, you have to watch, you know, the old school stuff. So I'm like, so that's why I figured I'd join you for this one, Lee, because this can be my eyeball book, but I'm going to need an audio book. Oh, I have one because since she said mentioned Amish and April, I forgot. And I even checked it out and then still forgot. Murder of an Irish Bridegroom. Yeah, you might want to read that because I think other oh, people yeah. want to get their hands on it. <laughs> it's a new series. Yeah, I think Roe was doing a like yeah, a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. like a read. A um, or we're, I'm doing it in audio, Sarah. You should join us. If I can uh, get my hands on it through the library, but uh, I, I think someone's already gone. got it checked out, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody needs to listen to it really quick and put it back. Seriously. Oh, to it at 1.98 speed. What more do you want? It's already almost checked. But you know, you know, you don't have to return it right away in case somebody else wants to read it. True. Right? See? See? Yep. Sometimes I go in there and I don't know which books are any, somebody's. I don't know if anybody else has felt that My way. Mother like, My mother will suddenly just I've start reading that. something that's mine. I'm like, I'm can like, you stop? Did I forget to return that? Did somebody, did I re check that out? Did Sometimes I, I, when I see something finished, I like automatically return it because it's just a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I hope that they're not minding that I like automatically. <laughs> I don't mind. Them. I just, I think it's funny because sometimes I don't remember if it was me or not that even checked it out. I'm like, is this Sarah? Is this? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I have to think sometimes too. I'm like, well, this is sci-fi. Nice I, I guess they don't assume that more than one person is using the account. Right. <laughs> Boy, oh, these people that's, have that's a not, reading which they're paper. not. That's not what's happening here. We're just that's speculating. Not happening here. <laughs> This reader has really big eclectic reading taste. Yeah, from like romance to like mysteries to like everything. Well, that is legitimately my reading taste, so I fail to see the problem. Hey. There you go. Um, Me too. So it's like, but yeah, so I do not have anything to go. I, I was, you know what? I was so excited about reading the second book in the Coyote Sunrise series, and I went to start it last night. And I'm like, not in the mood. Like maybe I'll wait. I'll come back to it in middle grade March or middle grade May or something like that. Yeah, it's like, so yeah. So anyway, I will, but yeah, that happens to me. I like, Oh, I want mm -hmm. to read this. And then that's why I didn't really have a whole lot on my TBR for this month. Cause I'm just like, I I'll just wing it. Nothing. Oh, I, I now have one book on my TBR. Thanks Lee. <laughs> there you go. I, well, I've been watching a lot of old school April, like TBRs and stuff. And it's like, Oh, that sounds interesting. I'll look that one up. Oh, it's on audiobooks, So I like, I I've got a few on my uh, Libby that way. Cause oh, okay. we'll see if I get to them or not. There it is. I was just looking to see if I could find it. And yes, the library does have that box set. So that works. I don't have to buy it. Now. Well, are, well, you said something about Kate Bertholder. Why don't you read, like, listen to one of those? I kind of want to go back to book one. So I might do that too. We shall Ooh. see. Get some murderous Well, if you're like me, you probably forgot most of what happened. Well, that's my <laughs> <I> figure. <laughs> oh, let's yeah. jump into some comment. I just don't want to read all the Amish right now because it's yeah. technically at the end of the month. Right. Yeah. So I'm trying to space the Amish out, you know. Oh, well, see, if you read one, number one now, you can read number two. I don't all. read the same book. As, <laughs> you know me better than that story. Come on. Honestly. Since I figure since you've already read them, <laughs> she's such peer pressure, such peer pressure. <laughs> read um, over. Barbara, good afternoon, friends. Still reading A Little Ray of Sunshine. As God is my witness, I will finish the book. 
You it does. Really, it is slow, uh, Barbara. I will agree with you. It's a good book, but it's slow. Very oh, slow. that reminds me. I want to tell you. Okay, so my friend Barb, you know, she's reading the the Grave Robber, which is the newest Deanna Rayborn. Yeah, yeah. And she's all like, "Oh, this is slow. Oh, this is. Oh, this is happening. Oh, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna. Am I not gonna like this? I'm not sure I don't want to read this. You know, and yeah. everything. And then she's like, like, give it four point five stars. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what is it with you? Because she did that to me with like the fatal first edition. She was like, oh, and then, oh, and then oh. And I'm like, oh no. And then she's like, I give it five stars. Like, that is hilarious. That she's is hilarious. decided because she doesn't do half stars. She's decided to give it four stars because she doesn't think it's five star worthy. But oh my God. It was too slow. That's why. Yeah. That's she, yeah. Well, she's like, I don't think I, I think I liked this one better than the previous one is what she's kind of going on. I think. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> but it was like, Oh, so I'm like, I have the audio. It's like, do I want to like accept the audio or push it back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Cav, good evening. Yeah. Before I pick my up my next book, I need to catch up on some reviews and my March tallies. Then I'll be starting standing dead by Margaret Mitsuma. Timber Creek Canine Mystery. Excellent. Ooh, nice. Alicia, hello everyone. Currently reading and listening to Listen for the Lie by Amy Tintera. Uh, thriller and I highly recommend. You know, I'm in the mood for oh, a thriller. That Please. was on like my list of like <laughs> books, I think in March that I thought sounded good. Because it was a thriller and I'm like, I don't know. So it's like, I, I put that that video out going, people, read them so you can let me know if they're any good. <laughs> I yeah, need to review these. So I might me. check that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Esther, hi Esther. Happy April Fool's hey. Day. I'm reading Murder on Sisters Row, a gaslight mystery number 13 by Victoria Thompson. She's yeah. gonna catch up to me if I don't start reading her. Seriously. <laughs> Crafty uh Annie. Hello, hi all. I'm reading Soul Taken by Patricia Briggs tonight, as well as Tapped Out Single Mom by Leah Lisi and Lost Girls by Robert Kolker. Nearly finished with this one. Wow. Excellent. Lots of good stuff, sounds like. Excuse Bless me. You. Thank you. Kat says, hi, everyone. I'm reading Wine and Punishment by Sarah Fox, book one in the literary <laughs> pub series. Excellent. I'm really enjoying Thank it you. so far. I like that Disney one. I need to get back interest. to that series. I love the first one. <laughs> um, wow. Emily. Hello, everyone. Hello. I am reading What Angels Fear by C.S. Harris, a storm recommendation, I believe. Nice. It was a storm. I really need to read this series recommendation, but I haven't read it yet. <laughs> you can read it for me and let me know what you think. Right. Know you can read it. <laughs> so please let me know if it's any good. It's it's on my like historical mystery series to try in 2024. So nice. Uh, Stephanie, happy oh, yes. April. I'm reading The Raquel of Roth, and I just started The Enchanted April. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Jen. Hi, everyone. I have about 15 to 20 minutes left in Hopped Along, the main clam bake number 25. <laughs> Haven't decided what's next. Nice. Sounds great. Uh, hello. Hi, everyone. Hope that you all had a pleasant Easter Sunday and weekend. We'll be continuing to read The Wharton Plot by Maria Fredericks. Very interesting. Excellent. I was going to say, that's good to know, too, because that was on one of my... I was like, say, she always <laughs> reads like some of the most interesting books. Yeah. It's really Donna, does. right? Sorry. Yeah, is Donna. It, oh, thank you. Okay. She, she really does. She reads very interesting. Because it, I think that if the, I'm right, that one's about, the one about Edith Wharton or whatever. So it's like a, I think a real person, but it's in a like historical fiction. It right? is. Um, What's her face? The one who always reads the nonfiction on booktube. What's her name? Olive. Why am I drawing a blank? Olive she does nonfiction November. Olive. Olive at a book, Olive. She oh, reads, God. she really likes Edith Wharton. She's a writer. So. Yeah, that's why I thought. So I was like, it's about her. And so I thought it sounded interesting. So Interesting. Jan. Hi, Jan. Hi from the Pacific Northwest. I'm reading An Angel for Dry Creek by Janet Trown Trounsend, which is a love-inspired novel. I was going to say, it kind of sounds <laughs> Amish. I don't know. Uh, yeah. no, I don't think it's, it's Amish, but it's definitely love-inspired. Gotcha. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jan. Uh, Rena, good evening, y'all. It's been a Monday. Yeah. I agree wholeheartedly oh. with that statement. I'm going to read Glitterland by Alexis Hall tonight. Well, I hope you enjoy and I hope your day is getting Monday better. Blues. We're almost done. We're almost through. Mm -hmm. To Shannon, evening. Welcome to April. I'm almost finished with Gates by Book and by Crook. 
and editing a YouTube, uh, YouTube book chat when I finished. Excellent. Nice. Oh, Kim says, really hello, Thank you, Kim. Uh, Stephanie says, I'm reading Sweetland or Sweet Hand by N.G. Peltier. I'm enjoying it so far. I love that it takes place in Trinidad. Oh, that was cool. on my list years ago to read. No, so, I, no, I'm really curious on that one because that's actually my maiden name. So. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, no, I'm cool. Cool. <laughs> Why did you pick this book up? Well, because the author had my name. Is there a challenge to read a book with an author with your name? <laughs> I've actually read two other books by authors with my last name. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, oh that's, that's so really fun. Good. I love that's it. That's like those fun challenges. You know, it's like, well, let's pick this mm -hmm. up and see if it's any good. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, believe in your shelf. Hi, everyone. No reading for me tonight. Hey. I need to spend the time organizing a few things, but I'm here to listen. Excellent. Glad we can keep you company. I, I meant to do my like wrap up for March today, and then I got lazy and I didn't do it. <laughs> you got Monday. Monday's Monday. Donna, the Wharton, the, the Wharton plot is uh so interesting how the publishers want uh her to write about the New York that no longer exists, typecasting mm -hmm. her work uh, uh, that no longer inspires her. Yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Kim, I'm 25% into Sunshine or in Shadow by Reese Brown. Cool. Um, Purple Rainhearts, hello everyone. Mm -hmm. Continuing with Six Feet Deep Dish by Mindy Quigley. Excellent. Oh, and I wanted to mention, so we got a new girl at work today. She, she does the same job I do for another person. But anyway, I was doing a bit of training with her and we got talking and I was like, oh, where are you from? Where do you live? You know, right. And she's like, oh, here. And I'm like, oh, nice. She's like, I take the transit and she goes, but it doesn't bother me because I listen to audiobooks. I'm like, new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said, because it's April Fool's, you should have said, that's not real reading. And just oh. <laughs> It's just April Fools. What are you listening to? You know, right? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you, what do you read? And I loved it because it's the same attitude a lot of us romance readers have. She kind of went really quiet for a second. She's like, yeah. well, you know, our jobs are really stressful, so I like listening to some fluff. I said, there is nothing wrong with a good trashy romance. She said, oh, I agree. You know, like you just because yeah, you do, you put it out there first. Reader, you know, put it out there it's first. It's automatic that you're yeah. almost embarrassed, and you shouldn't be embarrassed, right? Yeah, so you're and I, you know, put it out there first. So then she's like, oh, okay. Right. And I'm like, girl, if you want some uh, recommend, and she also reads fantasy and stuff. She's like, oh, I'll give you some titles. And I'm like, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so make them short. Those romance I need That's short fantasy. fantasy. <laughs> Don't give me if you Brandon read one Sanderson. of those good romances. Let me know. Right. <laughs> uh, Ro, hi, Ro. Hello. Just finished Hello. Knit or Die Trying by Ali Pletier. Pl 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 on audio, really enjoyed it. I cannot read names today. Um, hello, just started the 12 Books of Christmas by Kate Carlisle. Excellent. Lee. Hey, Kate. Uh, Rose says, reading Merit Badge Murder on ebook. She's an ex CIA agent turned Girl Scout oh. troop leader. Oh. Really fun okay. so the far. Mary that Rath sounds series. delightful. Yeah. I, the Mary Rath series, I, that was one that oh, I was going to try to start in 2024. Maybe I'll still, now I have to start it because Rose reading it. See? <laughs> Misha says hello. She it says sounds hello. cute. It <clears throat> Emily, oh. hi everyone. I'm going to have my devotional time and then I'm going to work on Oathbringer, which is 1,233 pages. If I read 41 pages a day, I'll finish it this month. That's incredible. <laughs> How you tiny brought, is the type is my question. You, you, you said Brandon Sanderson, so you brought it up, Sarah. You know. Right, I did. Knock three times. My book is bigger than hers. <laughs> <laughs> so you only need to read 42 pages a day. Start <laughs> there you go. Oh, I can't read the uh, Making chicken fajitas for dinner and listening to you guys. Oh, thank you. Garrett made spaghetti with this spaghetti sauce that was new out. And it was spicy and it was delicious. Mm, I said we will be having that again. Um, hello, everyone. Fibromyalgia has been bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, been a bit since I've joined. Oh, I hope you're feeling better soon. Um, that is hard. That's hard. Patrice, hi, group. I'm starting off April with the second Linda Castillo book. Sworn, sworn I thought Sworn to Silence was book one. Oh, there's a novella that starts it, right? Oh, maybe I'll listen to the novella. Maybe. Mm, there's an idea. Um, storm that is beyond chunky. 
<laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> That's why it's like, don't worry, I'm not reading the whole thing this month. <laughs> or it'd be the only book that I read this month. <laughs> Emily wants to know how many pages it is. How long is it, Storm? Um, well, it's bigger than Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> Let's see. Do we count like the the letter from the author? <laughs> sure, whatever. Let's see. One thousand three hundred and fifty nine. Oh wow! Yeah, that's a, that's a chunky monkey. Okay. Knock somebody yeah. out. They come <laughs> knocking on the Not only a book, it's also a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susan. Hello from Pennsylvania. I'm 28% into April Fool's Alibi by Tanya Kappas. Our Holiday Junction series. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Moira says, hi, friends. Hello. Thank you for joining. Annie, hi, all. I'm reading The Foxhole Victory Tour by Amy Lynn Green. And Rose says she has four Amish books to choose from. We'll post in Sarah's Discord. Yes. And this morning, y'all were, well, some people were making fun of me, Opal, because I typed in, oh, it doesn't start till April the 1st. And she's like, thank God, eight, today is April the 1st. <laughs> you should have put in there, April Fool's. I should <laughs> type before having coffee. Swear to God. <laughs> like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Never y'all. And then I'm thinking I'm so smart by ch trying to change it before anybody notices, but no, y'all are on the ball. <laughs> There's off. always somebody that's too fast. Right? Uh, have a couple books going, not sure yet. Jane, hi. Listening to His and Hers by Alice Feenley. Excellent. Sue says, hello, everyone. I'm reading April Fool's Alibi by Tony Kappas. 50 pages to go. If we get one more, we get a bingo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how big is the book storm? Just how many pages? Okay, I already uh, mentioned that. Um, uh, Ginger, hi, guys. Reading Buried Grave Secrets by Darlene uh, I. Turner while watching The Rangers Tampa, blah, blah, blah. Something about baseball, something about a team that's not mine. Next comment. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the Rangers in Tampa. Um, you're, vote, you're, you're rooting for that crappy team in Texas, right, Ginger? I, I won't hold it against you. Uh, War and Peace is a love story. <laughs> um, pass. I, Lee, wrestling uh, two wrestling shows this month, Ginger. Says. We're going to two wrestling shows this month? That's fine. Okay. There are two wrestling pay-per-views this month as well. So that's why Garrett's already got, he's like, what are we doing Saturday? And I'm like, at what time? He's like, I am booked from <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. And everybody's yes. like, what are you making? What are we having for dinner? What are we having for snacks? I'm like, yep. Yeah, you guys can bring yeah. food over. If I didn't, if I didn't like have to pay for it or something like that, I would watch it for old school April because you could watch like WrestleMania or whatever it is. Oh, for, that's fun for old school April because if you used to watch it when you were a kid, and I used to watch it when I was a kid, but I'm like, oh, yeah, I pay for it's it. on some, it's on Peacock. Do you have Peacock? Mm -hmm. Garrett's not paying oh. for it. Yeah, I used I to, but, but we got rid of that one. We downgraded. <laughs> Uh, Karen, hi Sarah, hi Tiffany, hi Lee, hi Storm, hi everyone. Tonight I am reading Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Emily, I plan on watching Clue and I want to see if I can stream Facts of Life. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, oh. I'll binge Murder She Wrote. Oh, excellent. Nice. Excellent, excellent. Love it. Uh, Susan We're says, and Mrs. King's on Tubi. Just in case anybody <laughs> wants to watch it. I have the actual DVDs, but if anyone... Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Susan says, next up will be Linda Castillo's Gone Missing. Excellent. Can you watch anything, or is it just certain things, Storm? It's anything that's, like, you know, old school. Like, uh, I think, like, they're doing, like, I think, before 2005. Mm. Okay. So... I didn't know if it had to be a mystery or detective or... There's watch prompts, so, like, you could, like find a prompt that would like fit you know but a lot you could do the prompts over and over again so like one of the prompts is basically to read to watch movies that were before 2005 so i'm like that's point 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nailed it and anybody hasn't joined yet join the silver snakes <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to try Amish Country Ambush on audiobook, Love Inspired Suspense. Ooh, yes, I, there are a number of them on audio. That might be on my list too, Ro. Uh, Kim says, I'm definitely going to watch Clue and The Private Eyes. 
Tim Conaway and Don Knotts as Scotland Yard detectives. Excellent. Oh, I love Clue so much. I do too. Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand didn't care much for book two in the Coyote Sunrise series. Sarah, thank you. How many Sarahs can we fit into one sentence? <laughs> <laughs> but no, but in all honesty, Emily, thank you very much for letting me know that. I, I, yes. I'm I, excited at first, but then, you know, if you don't get to it right away, you kind of yeah. start to, you know. I, I think I heard somebody else said that they weren't quite as impressed with it as they were. I'm a little worried about that, too, because I loved book one so much, you know. Um, Emily, Private Eyes is so good. So is Murder by Death. Uh, Denise, good evening, ladies. I'm a subscriber to Sarah, and just now I subscribed to the others today. Happy reading. Well, thank you. What are you reading, Denise? And oh, wait, yes, do what, are you, what are you having for your next oh, yes. meal? You've given us your name. We need to know what I'm you're sorry. eating. I need to know what you're eating. I need to. This is she's not kidding either. I live through, through what you guys are having, and sometimes it possibly. You know, gets well, on I had and French toast, Tiffany. That's what I. <laughs> What's that? She had French, French toast. French toast, yum. See, that might go on my grocery list. <laughs> Garrett, because we bought tater tots at the grocery store, I just wanted tater tots, and Garrett says to me, uh, "What are we having with them?" <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> bacon and eggs. He's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. It's like um just tater tots. <laughs> just tater tots, a little tater tater ketchup, tots. some salt and pepper. What's the problem? <laughs> it's it's probably not like the healthiest, but they had like those little like packs of pork that's like in the little packs. You can like squeeze the pork out or whatever. And we got some tater tots and we squeezed the pork over the tater tots, put some cheese on it, and it was it was really good, but it was like not probably healthy, but it was really good. <laughs> there's a there's an Irish pub around us that does tater tot nachos. So instead of nacho Ooh. chips, they use tater tots yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a there's a restaurant that does like, well, something like that. I think they call them like fry me to the moon or something like that. Okay, but they use okay. tater tots, and then there's yeah. our our little cafe in town used to do brisket fries, but I'm guessing brisket got too Ooh. expensive. That'd be so right. So now they'll do pulled pork fries, mm. but. The brisket fries were really good because they get you a lot like nice heaping of fr fries and then they had the pork over it and then they spread some barbecue sauce and it had like cheese pickles and onions and i would have them add jalapenos to it and have you guys ever had a I'm, storm probably has just because she's a grew up somewhat in the same area in the midwest horseshoes oh i've never i don't know what that is oh horseshoes are french fries what are the french fries at the bottom and then a piece of bread and a whoa whoa hold on I'm <laughs> stepping in so I'm get saying it wrong yeah honestly it wrong bread then the hamburger patty then fries on top and then queso over the whole thing oh my it's called god a horseshoe. it's really delicious it, it but really i've only good. had it at probably like either two in the morning after you know a night yeah, out or work. You know, so maybe when, when the all night good, diner is open and it. that's the only place to go eat. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you know, I so so what I say, it's really great. Take out the grain of salt because I've never had it when I've been maybe like been sober. <laughs> <laughs> that's OK. I'm going to lose my Canadian cred here because on Saturday I've had for the very first time poutine. I had never had ah. it. You had what? And I said to Garrett, why have never. I never had this? And he says to me, he goes, this isn't even good poutine. He's like, this is a crappy wow. one. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, well then take me to the place where I can get it. Yeah, the well, we got to drive all the way to Quebec for that. <laughs> yeah. You've never had it before? I had never had it before. The idea oh. of cheese curds just kind of turned me off, but yeah. oh my God. Never and now I'm not supposed melting. to eat anything like that. Yeah. I, I've never had that, but I've heard of it. Now, if you've been up to Canada, Lee, we got it from Harvey's. And I did not have it from Harvey's. Okay. I had it at a restaurant. I don't remember the name of it, but it was okay. like one of two appetizers they had. So I was like, all right, cool. We're getting this because I wanted to have it. When you do make your way up here, we're going to a place called the Poutinery. Okay. 
that's all they serve is poutine with different stuff on it, like oh. chicken and brisket, you know, like. So, all so it's like, you get this one, you get this one. That's right. That's, well, that's what I said. When Garrett ordered and I ordered dinner, he got the combo and I'm like, we're going to upgrade your fries because I really want to try this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got the little baby burger. I'm like, I shouldn't have gotten anything because I was just sitting and eating that. <laughs> oh, they're so good. So good. I uh, love that one too. All right. So let's jump into some, uh, I almost said to some comments, let's jump into a sprint mm -hmm. and Sarah will attempt to find something to read. Um, <laughs> but we will sprint to the top of the hour, everybody. So uh, happy reading. Happy reading. reading.
So, <clears throat> so how did everybody do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. I was reading a text that just got time got away from me, and I was like, "Whoa!" Uh, <laughs> like God, I knew she was a woman. No, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, good. I didn't get a whole lot of reading done. I was um, texting a college friend back and forth, and some other stuff, and um, yeah. Showing um, my husband my new my coworker's new dog who is the, and she brought him to work for like just a minute outside. Oh. oh my god, he is the cutest, cutest dog. And she didn't really want him. Her husband kind of brought him home, and I was like, oh my gosh, if you decide you are not keeping, because she's really not set on the dog. I was like, I want him. I want him so bad. What kind was it? Um, you know, it just kind of a mutt. Nice. He's so cute. He's so cute. Mutts make the best dogs. Though. They do. They mm -hmm. really do. No, I'm just kidding, Kaiwu. It's not what I said at all. He was the best. He was the best, boy. How'd you do, Storm? Oh, I, yeah, I guess it's my turn, huh? Okay, so I got to page seven, time. and I think page, page nine starts the second, so I'm almost there. And uh, it, the dialogue's kind of cheesy, and <laughs> it's got a lot of like description stuff, which I figured, you know, and I'm not like Vic, so I'm like, oh, I hope it's not like that. But then we get to the dialogue, and it reminds me mm -hmm. of like some kind of cheesy superhero. <laughs> They've got nicknames. You've got Songbird and Slasher, and and all these. But this one, I have to read. This is it says. I'll give you back your change with my fist, answered the stranger and says, hands off my tie or I'll bite your nose off. Bite your nose off? That's a that's a threat. That's a threat, yeah. That's a, that's Odd aggressive. threat, but you know. And then and it's like, the girl's like, be careful, watch out. He may want to get back at you. Don't worry, my girl. If he wants another piece of me, I have more to give him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's like, it's like what are you actually reading, Storm? Right, exactly. <laughs> it's like they were fighting and stuff. So it's like he, this, this one guy knows this sort of kickboxing thing and all you know and stuff. And it's like so. I was, I was like, right now it, it seems like you know one of those really cheesy like superhero things. Like, Unhand him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she said. I read like what she had said. She has a little bit of a a place that's um, blacked out, so I can't see it yet. So I'll read that afterwards. But below it said that the dialogue was a little cheesy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't <laughs> say. <laughs> How'd you do, Lee? I got two percent in my book. I was helping Marcus make dinner, fried shrimp and fish and I just realized we don't have a side so fried fish and fried shrimp sounds delicious <laughs> and sounds um, good. with a single white castle burger as an appetizer that's your, that's your appetizer or that's your side dish yeah, yeah now, now you're seeing my these are not our gourmet meals here these are just yeah. starting you know, pulling it together and then I was spent 10 minutes searching for my phone which was sitting on the floor in front of my chair <laughs> Well, that's not as bad as having the phone in your hand being like, where's my phone at? I can't find it. I did that to my brother yesterday. He was reading something on my phone and I'm like, all right, I got to leave. Where's my phone? Guys, help me find my phone. And he's like, it's right here. You handed it to me. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to find your car keys while driving. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are my keys? I totally lost my where, where are my glasses? Oh, they're <laughs> yeah. right here. Right here. You're using them to see. Yeah. <laughs> Old age is a thing, people. It's a thing. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. It's a thing. Yeah. This just came in. Um, I got no reading done, but uh, I finally picked a book. Yay. I went on the library website and I tooled around and I found this available. And I wanted to read it, but I refused to spend $18 on the Kindle edition. Uh, Murder by the Seashore by Sh uh, Shamara Yu. It's the California oh. Bookshop Mystery Series. So I'm really excited about it. So I've read fun. it. 
did you what, did you enjoy it? Yes, I Excellent. gave it three cups of coffee. That's good enough for me. It's yes, yes, else to yeah, it was it was good. Yeah. Um, so I'll start that on the next sprint. Yeah. Yay. That's a good solid first book in a series of three stars. I agree. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like that it takes place in California. You don't see many cozies yeah. that do, right? So that's kind of nice. Um, Alicia, hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. You as well. Roxy, hi, everyone. It's been so long since I've been here. Life has been nuts. I hope everyone is doing well. We hope, hope you are doing well. You are doing well as well. <laughs> so much booktube to catch up on. I'm Always. here all the time and I still have a ton of booktube. I was going to say, that's the story of my life. <laughs> right? I commented on somebody's video the other day. This is besides Ro. Ro, I said, commented on her video. She's like, I was like, I hope you feel better. She's like, this was two months ago. <laughs> I was like, well, then I I'm hope you're better. You need to go back to the doctor. <laughs> right? You know? Um, yeah. So uh, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> It's all good. Well, I kind of try to stay up to date with stuff. I don't necessarily go back and like watch some of the older stuff. I, I try to catch like, well, yeah. if somebody's got a new one out, I'll watch it. But if I miss like two or three other videos before I don't go back and look at them, I just try to yeah. stay current. <laughs> right. That's a good idea. Um, Alicia says, I'm hoping to finish Divine Rivals tonight by Rebecca Ross. Nice. Cajun finished my book. Ooh. Now to find Ooh. something to sprint with. All right, we'll wait for Tiffany to. Uh... There you go. Your question, Roxy, is Tiffany still making balloons at her screen? That's how long it's been for me. Yes, oh. she is. Yes, she is. Yeah. As she just showed you. Yeah, I was like, there, that answered there you your go. question real quick. There. Laura says, I'm about learned to some new ones too. There you go. <laughs> she learned some new tricks. I do agree. I think it was you, Sarah, like how this yesterday wasn't a bunny ears or something like that. Well, I yeah. thought it would have been for Easter. On Apple's you should have gotten a little bunny a rabbit that hopped. Yeah. Well, it's like, Okay, so you know the goldfish crackers, because I'm five years old and I love goldfish crackers? Of course. So they had packaging out for Easter. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you how disappointed I was that they were still goldfish and not bunnies? Oh. I mean, in the oh, picture, yeah. the, the, the goldfish had bunny ears, but I, it, it, it was just the packaging. I wanted bunnies. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, well, and I would think, well, if it's on the package, it's inside the, you know. So. Right. No. False no. advertisement. Get your money back. Right? Yeah. Yes. Five-year-olds and myself everywhere are disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Mar says, about two-thirds through Smoking Bun by Ellie Alexander. The series never disappoints. Yeah, that was a fun one. Thank you, Roxy. Uh, Pat says, good evening, everyone. Uh, reading tonight, Deadly Amish Reunion by Dana R. Lynn. Love Inspired Suspense, December 2020. The ninth book in a series and never read one to eight. There, there you go. go. Fine. I said storm. <laughs> um, you know, you finished Mar another March Mystery Madness prompt. I know it's April Fabulous. 1st, but, you know, it's April 1st. It doesn't even Fabulous. Exactly. Yeah, when she can remember how <laughs> to make the balloons. <laughs> this is true, Kim. I'm going to give you that one. That one was funny and very true. <laughs> Bren, uh, hello, I'm reading Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. Nice. Alicia says, I ordered some Harlequin books to participate in Amish in April. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, Roxy, I'm reading Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. I've had it on my shelf since 2020. Right. Nice. Excellent. Nice. That says, if you want a good thriller, One of Our Own by Lucinda Berry. Five stars. Yeah. Listen while I was at the doctor's office today, and I'll finish it when I got finished it when I got home. Oh, Thank well. you for that recommendation. Um, Pat, is it scary or just thrillery? Because there's a very, I'm just asking. Because some thrillers probably have some scare factor. I don't want scare, but is it just mm -hmm. thrillery? Let me know. I just want to also point out today, I saw somebody was participating in a book giveaway on Goodreads. And it was for The Last Mrs. Parish Part 2, which you guys know is like one of my favorite all time. Yeah. Mm. It's, coming, it's coming out in July. I'm super excited. I saw that there was another one coming out, and I was like, oh, I wonder if Lee loves that. I do now. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, uh, Storm, I just started it yesterday afternoon. I'll finish it tonight. It's going to be a five-star I'm assuming wow. she's not talking about the chunker you're currently reading. <laughs> she's talking about the historical mystery that she reads. Uh, 
<laughs> so that's good. I mean, that means it's pretty good if you're going to do yeah. it. Yeah. Like and it's the first book in a series. So. Sounds great. <laughs> Cajun says there was one there. There was series my daddy really loved. The author was doing a giveaway, and you had to describe your favorite scene. That is too oh, cute. That's sweet. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Barbara. Oh, uh, finger update. I had my second shot. If it does not work, surgery. I oh. told the surgeon that when my finger is healed, call it not trigger finger. Call it the bird. I really <laughs> want that to catch on. <laughs> oh, no, Barbara. <laughs> Uh, she had her second uh, shot. Is that of like drugs or, <laughs> or what? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be reading O is for Outlaw by Sue Grafton. Excellent. Uh, hi, Carolyn. Thank you for joining us. Cajun, I entered, but explained it was for my daddy. He didn't win, but the author named a character his same age after oh. him in the next book. Oh, that is delightful, that is Cajun. really, really cool. I love that so much. It's really cool. Uh, Crystal, hi, everyone. I am reading Scarlet by Alexandra Ripley, the sequel, A Two Gone Wind. The wind. I have that one. One of these days I will read it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same. Um, Tiffany, the Mary Worth series has a humorous writing style, so I think you'll like it. Yeah, I've been told, because um, it's been, like I said, it was going to be on my 24 list. It just ended up, I picked the Jasmine Webb series that I ended up DNFing. Mm. Um, anyways, um that it's a lot like Jana De Leon or like mm. a Stephanie Plum oh, okay. sort of humor. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so I'm excited about it. Good to know. Okay. Uh, Hi, Kay. Hi. Hope everyone is doing well. Sharing some April showers hopes with the like button. <laughs> Delightful. Delightful. Love it. Um, uh, I was reading Catcher in the Rye when I was in high school and a guy accused me of carrying it around to look smart. Told him that I'm smart. Don't have to pretend. Boy, <laughs> absolutely. That's right, Annie. Good hey. answer. Uh, Therese, Pray for Silence is book two. Linda Castillo. Yes, I did double check. So I thought maybe there's a novella, but there is not. Uh, Ginger says, yes, Texas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cajun says, Mace, uh, may read some of The Secret to Happiness, which is adjacent to the Whitsboro Bay series. Been listening, uh, but have the KU book too. Those are such a delightful series, Cajun. Uh, Lee, it is my independent wrestling. There you go. I wish and we had more of this today. Here. Stop yeah. the presses. Bought three <laughs> cozies today. What did we purchase? Uh, what did you buy? Uh -oh. <laughs> Emily, my books fit the prompts, but aren't horribly old school 10 years old or so oh, that's not bad and he well, says if you're 12 years old that's old school for you so there you go absolutely very truly yeah. <laughs> facts of life is on is it tubby i've been watching for a couple of years nice. oh i don't know exactly how it's called but i call it to be okay. <laughs> or not to be uh yeah. ooh, french toast <laughs> okay um I read The Second County Sunrise in March. Talked about it in my wrap-up video that will be up on Thursday. I loved, loved, loved it. Okay, thank oh, you. I will God. get to it at some point. Just when. Uh, my daughter is picking up Chick-fil-A tonight for dinner. Too lazy to cook. Yum. Totally get it. Nice. I had leftover ham from yesterday. Asparagus with lemon butter, mashed taters, homemade hot rolls, and fried apples. Oh. Wow. I'm to her house. Um, yeah, so I uh, ate her. Do you deliver? <laughs> yeah. Do you do Uber Eats? Um, Sue says, Tiffany, I'm having mashed potatoes, green beans, and vegan chicken strips. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And he says, thanks to Annie. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dramini. Mm -hmm. Kim, I'm just eating some sliced tomatoes. Ooh. You eat the most interesting things, Kim. <laughs> oh. Just just randomly, like, I'm going to have, like, a handful of nuts. Like, that's Kim. But, like, <laughs> garden tomatoes are the best thing ever. Just, like, sliced garden my tomatoes. My grandpa used to eat them like an, like an apple. Yeah, yeah. they're just yeah. the best. So I say, oh. my, my mom ate so many of them that it gave her hives. My mom, too. Yep. And wow. she went to the doctor, and he's, like, asking her, like, well, is there anything you're eating, you know? And she's like, well, I've been eating a lot of tomatoes. And he's like, how many? And she's like, oh, maybe, like, 15 a day. And he goes... Uh, cut out the tomatoes. <laughs> like that's it. But that's the thing is like those homegrown ones are so good, and so she just she yeah. would have them for lunch and have them for dinner. And that's all she would have. She would just have a bunch of tomatoes. 
So there's a there's an episode of Golden Girls where Sophia think they think maybe Sophia's having a heart attack and the doctor gets there and he's like, well, tell me what you had to eat today. And she's <laughs> like, I had a little uh, linguine for breakfast and then I had some clams and then I had some and then each one of Rose and like, Dorothy she ate and some milk duds. <laughs> like, and I saw her have two of these and, I, and he's like, and he keeps getting more and it just keeps going and he goes. And he's like, I don't think you're having a heart attack. He's like, I think you're having a case of some for overeating. And she's like, I'm, he's like, by the way, he's like, that'd be overeating for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> it was just so funny. Was well, when, my, when I was, I've probably told this before, but when I was really little, um, the doctors told my mom, you know, make sure she eats well, lots of carrots, you know, lots of, you know, blah, blah, blah. So mom gave me lots of carrots. And then I showed up at the pediatrician's office and I was orange. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you can back off all the carrots now. <laughs> like, okay, now you can go to the beats. And so she, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah. She's an Oompa Loompa. I think yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, love Tater. Oh, her, I think, uh, Shlomo. I can never pronounce her cat's name. Shlomo. Thank you. Loved tater tots. I may have gone to Sonic to get the cat tater tots more than once. I'm sorry. Sonic has tater tots. Yes. Oh I'll be going to the gosh. States, I think, in late, I think in a couple of weeks, Scarlett and I are going to go over and cross the border. We yeah. had um, people, when I worked at McDonald's, would come in in the mornings and order two round eggs, and it was for their dog or whatever. Mm -hmm. Asian, I love that you did that for your cat. Mm -hmm. Or they would get a, a hamburger during lunchtime or whatever, plain. For the and dog. We usually figured, up oh, there, there was one for the dog. And there, because there'd usually be a little dog in the car with. Oh, when I work drive through at Tim Hortons, they do not do it anymore, but they used to back in the. You always ask permission first, but the plain Timbits we kept aside for the dogs. So if somebody had a dog in their car, we could give them a plain Timbit for the dog. Oh, so, no. Yeah. Oh. Uh, book fan, I love how the conversations always go back to food. <laughs> Broken it right again. <laughs> before. <laughs> um ginger says okay just a reminder my test is next monday so i'll be out of pocket for a couple of days oh that sucks well that says i had a personal pan pizza this. sausage broccoli and feta cheese with white sauce yum well that's interesting. different interesting yum emily had cheese my father was french and i grew up with it mm -hmm. what, i don't think i want to ask what it's made from. It. no you don't want it okay Excellent. Alicia says, Putin is amazing. They have disco fries back at home in New Jersey. They're sort of the same thing. Mm -hmm. What are disco fries? Tell me. I'm sorry. It's They're like fries poutine. with brown gravy. I and like the poutine is what she was saying. Yeah. Oh, what's on top of the gravy? I'm sorry. Melted cheese. Oh, cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh. Baked chicken, yeah. oh. pure garlic, <laughs> angel hair pasta, and zucchini is on the menu. Yum. Ooh, that sounds good too. You guys. Nicole, evening. Oh. Welcome, Nicole. Hey. Nicole, I just tagged you in something that's coming out later this week. It's a favorite people tag. Tag. <laughs> tag, you're it. There you go. Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. I'm reading Stormfront by Jim Butcher. An mm. interesting read, a little different from my usual read. Storm, did you name your dog after Harry Dresden? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all caught up on that series and mad at the author at the pr present time. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, <Okay>. Pat, <laughs> I was going to vent, but decided not to because the donkey butt doctor I saw today wants to see me tomorrow. <laughs> Why? Who knows? I am too mad to read. Good night. Happy reading and take care. You take oh, care too. Pat. Hi, Pat. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Pat. Yeah. Cajun says, be right back. Phone call. She's probably back by now. Oh, Grandma Susan, welcome. Good evening, everyone. It sounds like everyone had some great books or meals to enjoy. I dozed off but got rid of my headache. Woohoo, excellent. Nice. Always productive. That's awesome. PK, happy not the first day of Mercury retrograde. Yes, <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love PK's humor. I really do. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, her and Barb need to go on tour. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I would buy tickets. I really would. Seriously. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of comedy, I follow this guy on Instagram named Daniel Fox, F-O-X-X, -X, and he's a British comedian. He's gay, but he's so funny, and he does these things called stories for privileged children, and it's like the most ludicrous things. It's like, and he did the Easter one that came out the other day. 
Garrett and I were laughing so hard because he's like, oh, and they sacrificed Nanny 3. And then mom told them the story of Jesus on the cross. And sorry for anyone overtly religious. And he's like, and the moral of the story is always settle out of court. <laughs> if you have a chance, look him up. He's hilarious. I just His thought about pictures that. look very... Um... Draco Malfoy meets he's, Ellen. He does this bit where he's the devil and he band. takes his hair and he sticks it like, up. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> like I was, I thought I was on the wrong person. I was like, is he? No, no, that's Boy him. Band? He actually produced an entire um, play in the UK based on Ursula. Like wrote, directed the whole thing oh, wow. on, on, like like they did with Wicked with the 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 Wicked Witch, but this was with Ursula. Oh wow! Really talented yeah. guy, but he's funny yeah. as heck. That'll give you something to watch. <laughs> Anita, greetings, everyone. Sorry, I can't join you tonight as I'm having technical issues. I will watch this tomorrow. Be safe. You as Hi, well, Anita. Anita. Thanks for popping in. Hope you get uh, Ginger, I'm having Doritos and Marshmallow Easter bonnet for supper. Okay, that is acceptable as well. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, almost, DeShannon is almost finished by Booker by Crook. Like five minutes to go. You'll be done by the time I just read that comment. Um. Emily, devotional done and journaling some wonderful. 23% read. Two chapters. Made it to tap chapter 24 of Divine Reads. On page 70 of 290. Excellent. Only read about 20 pages. That's okay. Patrice, two chapters Aww. done. Coffee and puppy playtime. Ginger did some laundry. Uh, did some reading for my nonfiction autoimmune cure. Excellent. Oh, nice. Okay, the bad news. Our new service manager who started last week quit this morning without oh, notice. Yeah. Good news. We hired a new one who can start tomorrow. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Excellent. Yeah. Evidently, somebody couldn't handle the job. <laughs> it was meant to be, PK. Barbara, Emily, uh, you need. we need to start a big book club, you two, Cajun. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it is cheesy dialogue. It's like old school Batman. I was yeah, waiting for it. How? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all I, I like it, but yeah, I like that. You're waiting for like something like that to happen. <laughs> That's funny. Sonia, hi, Sonia. Hello, everyone. Can't stay tonight trying to catch up and avoid the tornado. I hope no one drops a house on me. You will be fine, my dear. Just put on your ruby yeah, red slippers. Same here, same here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, stay safe. The, the Midwest is getting some crazy storms yeah. lately. Yeah, so far, it's not done anything yet, so... Knock on wood, she says that way. Yep. Yeah. Emily White Castle haven't had a slider in years. Roxy, I took an amazing shower now. I'm honestly ready for bed. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Jessica, hello, everyone. I'll be continuing with First Fatal Edition. Just finished dinner. Bacon and cheese, steak burgers, and steak fries. <laughs> quick and easy. Nice. nice. Yum. Uh, Case has finished supper and read two chapters, I think. I also cozied up to hubby after we ate and might have dozed for a bit. That's sweet. You're allowed. Absolutely sweet. Uh, Moira, I have looked everywhere for my phone while talking <laughs> on it. <laughs> uh, Rose says, I ate chicken fajitas and it was delicious. Thanks. Yay for finishing Cajun. Yes. Uh, hello, Ambie. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Alice, hello, everyone. I hope you had a good weekend. I'm reading Forgotten by CJ Carmichael. It is the second book in the Twisted Cedars Mysteries. It's pretty good. Excellent. Telling Sonia oh, to stay oh. safe. Um, Have you watched Criminal Minds on TV? It's like that. Okay. Gotcha. She's like, She's like moving, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Katie, I tagged you in the favorite peoples. If You guys might have already done it. I didn't know who had done it because I feel like a lot of people. I, I feel like I, I think Nicole's already done it. I think she did too, yeah. Okay, I, I I knew a lot of people had, and so I tried to uh, like pick like I really went down my list. And I was like, rare, like random people who I like, book readers. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. Um, I, I'm so going to do the that. old school April tag, and I'm going to tag all you. Just you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amy, I'd love uh to a romance. Okay, mm -hmm. what kind of books are you looking for? I I need something more than just. Please break it down a spicy, bit. Kind of, not yeah, spicy. not spicy. Do you want suspense? Just not suspense. Wait. Historical, <laughs> contemporary. <laughs> More of the, yeah. Uh, Sherry, hi Sherry, hi all. I'm reading Salem's Lot for um, Old School April. Yes. And that is lovely, Cajun. 
Uh, it's sort of a new, new month, so I have to check out the, the Kindle monthly deals. Always fun. Yeah, that's like um, uh, a new month thing. It's I say I go on the Harlequin website and look at all the books coming out the next month. Um, it's you know when the new the first day of the new month falls on a week uh, a weekday it sucks because I have to go to work. Yeah, I can't do that right away. Wonderful. Pamela, hi all. I'm getting ready. Uh, I'm getting around to reading Where the Crawdads Sing. Loving it so far. Excellent. Excellent. And my mom really liked that one. Can't wait for my garden. I can't wait till I can sit outside. Uh, Emmy, we got Red Robin yesterday. My sister had half her burger left over. My mom had salad and we shared it. Yum. I've never had that before. Um, I like Red Robin. Uh, Kim says, I don't eat that many. Usually eat two. Not the right time, but Walmarts are pretty good. Ready for the produce market to, uh, to have good for Yes, I agree. I hate oh. feta. Really? Oh, feta is delicious. I like feta too, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like anything salty and feta is just pure, like... Sounds delicious. Um, Cajun, bless her heart. I can tell when my stepmother is especially missing my daddy. She calls like earlier to tell me in detail about a documentary she saw about flags. <laughs> I wish I could make it better. <laughs> uh, leftover prime uh, prime rib. My life is so hard. Oh my gosh, Barb. You need a telethon, Barb, or a GoFundMe right. or something. <laughs> Uh, Nicole, thanks for tagging me. I've done the tag, but I'll be sure to pass it on and mention you tagged me. Uh, I love Jim Butcher, and I've read the whole series at, uh, at least, I think it's least, 50 times. Wow. wow. 50 times? I just finished the, like, last one. Like, last <laughs> well, 49 one time more three. times to go. <laughs> or... <laughs> Um, I'm working on the stories before turn coat this month. Storm, a co-worker, did spoil a development in Harry's life for me. Oh. He has a few developments, but yeah, you should they they shouldn't do that. That's not <laughs> now some of them I was like, I don't know if I liked it, and then others is like, eh. but, well, but didn't I hear that they did that and then they changed it because the fans got real mad about something? Mm. Is that the series I'm thinking of? I don't know. But okay. I mean, I could see some of them getting. I heard a booktuber talking something but... I can't remember. Um, Pat, now donkey butt doctor called, and I don't have to see him tomorrow. I think he is drunk. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Amy says, uh, I'm so upset, lady. I've gotten into Brussels sprouts, and the last two times I went to Walmart, they didn't have any. I put cheese with butter in a pan and put the Brussels down. So good. Oh, that's disappointing. I love Brussels sprouts. I try to like them. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I just oh gosh, yeah, I no. love them so much. Because I thought, you know, they're like little, I thought, oh, they're little cabbages. But no, I like cabbage. I don't like them. <laughs> I like cabbage when it's in roll form with meat inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we usually do the unstuffed variety where it's like the cabbage in there, but the meat and stuff mm -hmm. is in there. But yeah. 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 I'm too lazy to roll them up. <laughs> Fair enough. Cabbage. Uh, wouldn't it be great to get into a situation where unhand me is a perfect thing to say? I live for that moment. <laughs> you scoundrel. <laughs> you challenge them to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to happen well, more Almost often. kind of like how this well, is. <laughs> we, when I, when I, so, you know, I've said this several times, I worked at a residential facility for years and we had two janitors that, one time there was two girls getting ready to fight in the hall and they were getting ready to throw down in the hall. And I think they were just trying to distract them, but they, they were like on opposite ends of the, of the, of the like hallway. And, um, they, I don't know if they practiced this or what, but they both took out their spray bottles and they were like, all right, 20 paces and turn around and shoot. And everybody got so distracted. The fight never happened. It was the funniest darn thing in the world. I was like, <laughs> The like, who's the counselors it. here? Oh, I love but it. Was Break it up with place. comedy. It works every time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. I, Nobody was, gets yeah. hurt. Yeah, it yeah. was such a distraction. Nobody gets hurt. Uh, thanks to Tiffany for, uh, to Alice. Anne says, I just finished Sniffing Out Murder by Callie E. Benjamin. I really enjoyed this book. It had me laughing and enjoying all the warm, cozy elements. Bailey the Bloodhound stole the show. Aww. She says, now I'm reading Murder on the Poet's Walk by Ellery Adams. Adams. Okay, yep. thank you. Contemporary spice level doesn't matter. I um little I, more I, than that. Yeah, I honestly can't think of anything over the I, I mean, I just finished The Catch me, by Amy Lee I, and I quite enjoyed it. 
You might want to check that one. Like. I, I, like, I like Rita really, and Zane. She's contemporary and she's kind of mm -hmm. sweet, I think, not very spicy. Uh, Little Ray of Sunshine. I mean, it's not true, true romance, but there's romantic elements in there. My Goodreads doesn't want to load. There it goes. Yeah. You know what? In all honesty, go on your library website, go on Hoopla, have a peekaboo, and see what looks good to you. Yeah. You know, what jumps out at you. That's yeah, how I find most I'll put of in a buzz. I'll put in a buzzword and then I'll like see if there's anything. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want like friends to lovers or this and that? You know, like just, what kind of trope? Um, there's a series um, called True. Uh, I mean, that's just suggestion depending on what you no, like. No, no, no. Please. I just please. recently read a book um, and it's the series is called True North. It's by Serena Bowen. It's like the family yeah, owns like good. a cider meal slash like they make like hard cider. Oh. And um, it's kind of in a mountainy area. Very good. It's a series with brothers. I enjoyed it. I think, I think it's I a little more on the spicy side. And I, for like, Serena Bowen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like posh or ginger. <laughs> Getting there. Spice. It's not so much baby spice. A bit. No, more definitely not baby. Spicy. Yes, <laughs> definitely not baby. <laughs> Probably not sporty. <laughs> not sporty. <laughs> <laughs> um let's jump into one more sprint we'll go to 10-2 and mm -hmm. then we'll come back and finish off the comments okay so perfect happy reading everybody happy reading
So how did everybody do? Good. Um, I read a little bit of an escape goat and um, yeah, I mean, I'm not very far into it, but I, I mean, it's a goat yoga cozy. It's amazing. <laughs> but you can't really go wrong. <laughs> I finished, I finished my chapter. So curiosity is peaked. Uh, you know, we had a, we had a fight. They kind of made, they kind of, it seems like they kind of made up. Now they're going to dinner, all three of them. It's like, okay, we, we fought, we beat each other up. Now let's go have dinner. <laughs> well, it works, you know, yeah, you do. <laughs> the one proved that he could fight better than the other one. So I give, okay, you're cool. Let's go have, you know, something to eat. That is awesome. So is awesome. I'm kind of curious what kind of, are they going to get on at dinner? Or are they going to have another, another fight happen or what's going to yeah. happen? Food fight at dinner. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> I got to 84% through the book. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. And I didn't do any reading again. I was on Instagram because, you know. That'll do it. It's a Monday. Oh. It's a Monday, to be honest. Hmm? Yeah. I can't believe I didn't see that. So I also watched Nicole's favorite people. Nicole, oh, there you go. We're, it, I, I knew I was. it was a good tag for me to tag you. Such interesting answers. I, I really enjoyed. I like the. I like how she does her. She's been doing her tags, like while like, she's doing something else, and yeah, the kind of yeah. casually while well, she she's making a sandwich or whatever. Literally. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. But well, Storm, I couldn't believe how much she like like she finished the last question. She's like, "Oh, and my bagel's done. Look at that. Gotta go." And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> "Mine yeah. would have been smoking in the background." I'm like, "It's You're done. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine." <laughs> <laughs> the flames are going. What's the fire department's on their way. Got to go, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, crafty and uh, it's been. It was very good. Maybe too good. And I also cannot wait to start my. Uh, what is it? Daredom. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. Anna uh, uh, Adams. It was book eight in the book retreat series. One of my favorites. Hello. Hi, friends. I'm reading Blueberry Muffin Murder by Joanne Fluke. Love this series. It is a fun, fun series. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying. Uh, my husband, my oldest son, and I always reread the series as a group several times a year. Wow. Dresden, there you go. Wow. Oh. I would like to start over. You know, now, you know, you know, kind of the ins and outs of everything that's happening because, I mean, it is an urban fantasy and you have your, your ups and your downs and things. People are changing and people, you know, and all that stuff. So it would be kind of interesting to like go back to the beginning and try right. to that way you know i know a little bit more about what's going on so mm -hmm. that makes sense the only way i like brussels sprouts is roasted with garlic lemon and butter yum well i tried them with bacon because everybody says oh fry them in bacon that ma bacon makes everything better no i like the bacon pick the bacon yeah. part <laughs> this part is disgusting where's my bacon i do have a great brussels sprout recipe if you want it that's super simple so do I. You open the garbage. And then <laughs> you don't eat them. <laughs> Delicious that way. <laughs> Give it to me. What is it? It's balsamic vinegar, honey, and garlic. And you mix it up and then you pour it in there and you cut the Brussels sprouts in half and it caramelizes them mm -hmm. with that with that uh, mm -hmm. sauce in the skillet. Very, very good. Very good. If you don't like them that way, you're just not going to like them. Between that and the bacon, if you try both of those... I'm out. You just yeah, don't want. We like can't them. help you anymore. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like one of those things where they always. I, I've heard that, like, if you have a kid, that you need to try to get them to eat something that they don't like several times to make sure they really don't like it. And so I feel like Brussels sprouts are like that. If I've tried them all these different ways and I don't like them, apparently I just don't like them. <laughs> I just don't like. Then them. you try the the Sarah's suggestion, but first, yep. <laughs> yeah. Leave them at the store for someone else to purchase. My, my friend Larry, he always likes to tell us this one that his friend told him this about how to cook a duck. He says, first, you wrap the duck in bacon. Then you cook the duck. <laughs> then you eat the bacon and throw the duck away. <laughs> 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 
You did decide on tomorrow's supper too. I feel so accomplished. Now that, that is, is pretty good. That's half the battle right there. You know, and that's my problem because I do not meal prep or whatever. So I do not think ahead of time. And so then it's like, what am I going to fix? I don't want to fix anything. Oh, I forgot to thaw something out. So now what are we going to have? Peanut butter mm -hmm. and jelly. <laughs> yep. I always say that's what Marcus and I will get divorced over. Just the last, I don't know what I want to have for dinner. I don't know what I want to have for dinner either. And it's like, all right, well, we're done. This is it. It was a meme and it was some restaurant in the States, like some little hole in the wall. And they're like, they actually had stuff on the menu saying, I don't know. I can't decide whatever. And it was like, kids, it was a kid's menu. So it was like a hamburger and grilled cheese or whatever. I'm like, that's what I need. <laughs> Cause both right? Garrett and I will get angry at each other. Exactly. You yes. know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. You pick something. No. <laughs> I always say you pick and I have veto power. <laughs> right? I always say, I know what I don't want. Maybe I don't know. what Yes. I want. Yes. That is the shorter list. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, do it the way I said. You'll love them. Cookie sheet, put shredded cheese and butter, then the Brussels and bake. You well, know, two different ways to try them. So if I don't like either one of those, then I know I just don't like Brussels. I, I don't know. The shredded cheese and butter. Can I just put that on the cookie sheet? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have to contaminate it with the yeah. <laughs> with vegetables? <laughs> Lee, never challenge anyone to a duel. Did you learn nothing from Hamilton? <laughs> I think I should be embarrassed, but I'm not to say I've never watched Hamilton. Neither have I. No, I haven't either. Okay. Majority. <laughs> so you feel better um, already, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. I'm like, look at that. And My mom used to boil the heck out of Brussels sprouts for them for me. With tears. Funny ears. So distracted. Uh, okay, okay. thanks. Uh, hello, Sarah. My friend said thanks for the recommendation. A little ray of sunshine loves grandpa. Oh, the grandfather is the most delightful character. Uh, Cajun, I am impressed as uh, as well as being a mood reader. I am a mood eater. Come to think of it, that could explain some things. <laughs> Same. Same. Uh, my friend my Joan. Problem, okay, awesome. My problem is I don't like mm. to cook. And and so it's like, can we just have cereal or something? You know, and cereal I don't like, like to cook, food, like. and I'm the pickiest eater in the world. And Garrett gets so angry at me because he wants to make like all these things, but he knows I won't touch them with a ten foot pole. <laughs> so it's it's like you said, Lee. The reason for divorce, yes, we'll be in court going food. <laughs> mm -hmm. So water. here you go. Say you make your elaborate thing over here, but make me some nuggets and some. I said right? that, and it's still not. Mm, it's a thing. Well, right? I because I do that with my dad. Like he doesn't like some of the things that I like, and I'm I like pork. Okay, but I don't. I'm not a big pork person, but he likes pork steaks and pork chops and stuff like that. So I will fix that for him and then I'll get hamburger and then I'll make me something out of hamburger or whatever. And I've said it before. I'm not a foodie. It, left to my own devices, I eat so I don't die. Like, <laughs> basically, I'm like, I get home from work. Yeah, cereal sounds delicious. That, that'll that fill me. That's yeah. good. Well, that's like, you. right. Yeah, I'm not a big, a huge foodie either. And like, I could probably eat cereal like every night. And that's probably why I'm in the condition that I am. Because you know? <laughs> I, I have done that quite a bit. <laughs> it's the same boat. Same boat. Don't you worry. Same boat. <laughs> no joke. My coworker just today, she does not like to cook. And she said, you're going to be so proud of me at lunch today. I cooked. And I was like, oh. And, and so we go to lunch. And I'm not kidding. She pulls out a salad. I said, I thought you cooked. She said, I cut the vegetables. I was like... <laughs> It's like, <laughs> excuse me, this is I was, I was like, okay, let's just. I was like, no, salad is not cooking. You didn't cook anything though. You didn't heat anything <laughs> up. Cooking. And she was that. She was like, I sassy about it. She's like, I cut the vegetables. In <laughs> other words, it's like it wasn't a pull it out of a box, stick it in the microwave thing. It like she fried something. something. Yeah, right. Okay. I cut these up. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. That's that's oh delightful. Uh, try anything by Margaret uh, Megan March. Highly recommend all of her books and especially the audiobook. Oh, so there's some good recommendations for you. There you go. Uh, right, Cajun? I am the same way. Uh, any 28 pages. I try, uh, that's a duplicate comment. Piper Stone has some really good ones. Hers are very spicy. Thank you for these, Rex. Uh, but somebody was talking about taco salad earlier today, so we decided to make my rainbow taco salad. Ooh, that does. Yum. 
you know, like you said, what it's what I don't want is the smaller list, but there's like, yeah, I can live off of like what, five meals, you know, exactly like is a rainbow taco salad. Is that where you have like different colored lettuces and things like that in it? Or do, do let us know. Mm -hmm. I want to know. <laughs> yeah. Like spaghetti tacos, uh, craft dinner, chicken nuggets. Like I could live off of these things and that would all be, that's all in my cupboard. We went, we were at all this today and I said, I want to try these. Cause I seen a lot of people that do keto and stuff, try these and they're the cheese fries. Mm. And stuff. so like, they're like the hard cheese that you can, you can put them in the air fryer. Or you can like fry mm. them up like in green and they don't like melt. Mm. Like no, oh. whatever. And people use those like for like, kind of like their French fries or whatever with the burgers. It wasn't bad. I asked dad, I said, so what do you think? He goes, it's okay. I said, tastes like cheese, huh? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Romaine and rich that, yeah. dark leafy greens, uh -huh. red, yellow, orange, and purple tomatoes, wow. blue corn chips. But we may oh. use chicken instead of beef just to spice things up a bit. I like chicken instead of beef that, and tacos. That is totally cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Tiffany, have you read Death by Demo by Kelly Carpenter? I have not. I will look at it though. Thank you. Uh, Amby, try Catch of the Day by Kristen Higgins. Yes, I Kristen second Higgins that. Kristen is great. 100%. Manda Flower, Crime and Cherry Pits. Manda Flower. Lynn also. Cahoon's Furry Familiar and uh, Dean James, What the Cat Dragged In for My Wrestling Friend Who Comes to Poison Whilst the Cat Dragged In. <laughs> <laughs> Annie didn't read much. Ate dinner, chicken, mashed potatoes, and zucchini. Yum. Didn't read my sinuses are draining something fierce, which makes me so sick. Yeah, that's oh, horrible. Yeah, uh, Kim, I'm not big on romances, but I've marked some on Hoopla that look interesting. Um, Sarah, is Carla Negra spicy? Yes, she is. Yeah. Yes, she can be. She's not super spicy, but she's definitely more than your average. Sorry, Kim, I had that last month. No fun. My aunt had it last month, so it was very unpleasant. Mm. Managed chapter 20 on Lost Girls and finished a dishcloth. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. I'm so excited. You are reading an escape goat, Tiffany. I know. I'm now on page like seven. Ten more pages. Well done, Donna. Uh, 34%. Uh, only one chapter because my hubby had to talk to me about something. How dare he? <laughs> this hey, is time. <laughs> Caging got to 85%. And this made me snort. My fiance would rather sleep with a lesbian and the village bike. <laughs> I, what is going on? <laughs> I know. I have so many questions. Uh, got to 22% on mystery at Lilac Inn and Nancy Drew. Uh, do you ever get so involved in your book that you forget you're on a stream? You're asking how the sprint one ends <laughs> when scares the crap out of me. Yes. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure y'all have noticed, like, when I'm hosting, sometimes I'm like, and then I'm like, oh, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sign of a good book. Mm -hmm. um, Row mine comes and goes, unfortunately, sinuses and autoimmune disease don't mix well. Oh, I'm sorry. Very true. Um, whoops. Fire department. Again, no, we can't send the calendar, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh good thing alice missed the books down eyes up days of uh, tiffany's springs yeah you would have been very <laughs> terrified i always think of april when somebody says that <laughs> i i always <laughs> how is april she's doing great good good she's doing great but, uh, I love everything Nancy Drew, all the original and revised ones. I agree with the trash recipe for Brussels sprouts. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Balsamic vinegar with sprouts is great. I don't like balsamic vinegar either. So well, you're adding honey and garlic and then mix. Yeah, it. I was going to say, I mean, I, I don't like it, but I don't know mixed it with stuff if I'd like it. I agree with the duck recipe. <laughs> 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 Hence me eating sliced tomatoes. Exactly. I ask Cubby, what do you want for dinner? And he'll say, I don't know. And I'll say, okay, well, I don't have a recipe for that, but I'll wing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next time Garrett says that, that's exactly right? what I'm going to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm trying to find more healthy recipes. I make the same things over and over and need more yes. options. Looking for low yeah. carbon, high protein options. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm really trying for low sodium, but it's hard. 
Um, we roast Brussels sprouts with carrots, red skin mm -hmm. potatoes, and parsnips. Yeah. Turnips, mm -hmm. add them all in there. Turnips are my favorite <laughs> vegetable. Oh, my grandfather loved turnips. Oh, my gosh, oh. I love them. Can I? Can they're, I they're okay, but not a favorite. I'm going to recommend real quick egg for row, egg roll in a bowl. Oh, I like that. Oh. And Ooh. then um, I just recently, like I made, I've made this like three times in the past two days, is Italian sub, all chopped up. You... I put a little bit of olive oil, red wine vinegar, mayo, mix that all up with a little bit of Italian seasoning. I chop up like salami, pepperoni. I did like a spicy chicken, a cheese, lettuce, tomato, so those little uh, sport peppers, pepperoni peppers, some olives, whatever you like. Just like chop, 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 chop it all up, add the dressing to it, mix it up. It's kind of like eating a sub without... The bread. Ooh, the bread for it and like yeah. it's not in salad form necessarily it's like in chopped salad form and That's some cool. onions i think i added in that too and i've like eaten that like three days in a row so wow very cool just thank you for sharing that suggestions like it mm. uh, i only own two but usually get them at the library see i will try anything anyone cooks because i might like it but when i cook i make what i know i like yeah, yeah. that's fair yeah yeah, yeah. I was just a picky eater, and my mom always told me whenever I went to somebody's house that I had to eat what they put in front of me, even if I didn't like it, because it was rude not to eat what they did. So there's a lot of times it was like, yeah, trying not to be like, I like this. I really do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. She says, I love to cook and bake. Feeding people is one of my love languages. It was my grandmother's, too. Too bad you don't live so close to me that I can. <laughs> Let's go hang out at her house. She's cooking. Sadly, most young people don't cook. Don't ask me how they can afford to survive on takeout. It's a true fact. Yeah. Thank you. Um, love veggies, period, but definitely best roasted. See, mm -hmm. I am a veggie fan, but they need to be raw. I like raw vegetables. That's just me. Um, something is wrong with y'all. Food is awesome. Y'all understand so much on good food. Food is awesome. I like food, but a lot of food I don't like. <laughs> my father's favorite meal was liver. Was. I'm not as picky as I was. And I do have to make myself try things. Yes. Because yes. I'll look at it and be like, mm. but it's like, we'll try it. Cause you might like it, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's still certain things I will not touch with a 10 foot pole. Like, sorry. Yeah. Uh, my Nancy Drew, uh, were on the first things I managed to save from my old apartment. I still have my first, uh, two that I got for my eighth and ninth birthday. Oh, that's delightful. Uh, Ro, that is so true. My sister and her family, eat it like five to six times a week and I don't know how she does it. Oh, you know, I just thought of one thing. So Kevin's always trying to gain weight. I say that. So he eats a lot of protein. And so he's been making these, um, different bowls all the time, like, rice and then whatever meat he wants like either steak cut up or chicken and then some sort of bean and then some sort of sauce or other veggies or queso or whatever um those seem to be really high in protein and easy mm -hmm. kind of thrown good. together whatever he feels like in the moment well that's cool kind of gets rid of some stuff in the fridge too right uh, one can of boiled peanuts is my meal a lot of nights. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I, I, I tried I tried boiled peanuts. This one lady, when I worked at McDonald's, raved about boiled peanuts. She just loved them. And she brought some to McDonald's. And I tried one. And I was like, oh, how, did you, how do you eat that? I like them, too. <laughs> no, I like regular peanuts, but not boiled. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Money. Yeah, for eating out. Uh, hamburger patties, cut onion uh, in rings, and top, uh, and then top with cream of mushroom soup. Bake for thirty minutes to one hour. We eat them over rice. Hmm. Sounds good. A lot of I mean, carbs. that sounds good and delicious. Do you cook the hamburger in the oven too? She says yes. You do everything in the oven at the same cool. time. Oh, very cool. Thank you for sharing these recipes, guys. I know, uh, Ro, but they have their own business. Maybe that helps. <laughs> uh, it's hard to explain. Southern things. Some types of peanuts that are usually roasted but boiled in a big pot, usually at a roadside stand. Interesting. 
pulled chicken on ro uh, romaine lettuce instead of bread like a taco really yeah. good mm -hmm. the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce is part of the recipe and made from carrots i can send it to you oh interesting <clears throat> maybe is there a recipe thing on the killing time of cozy yeah. group yeah. 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 jump in there with some of these you guys come on over stormy i'd love to cook for you <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what you mean, but I think they're called something different here. Mm. Uh, Pat going to say goodnight. Good night, Pat. We're wrapping mm -hmm. up anyway. Uh, yes, please. There's a recipe section. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Um, Cajun, I had to eat what was on my plate. They tricked me into fried eggplant. My great grandmother was like, Cajun peach. Uh, are you giving that to the dog? I said, no, ma'am. He doesn't like it either. <laughs> 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 One of my favorite stories that my mom would tell me about food is she hated liver and onions. Like, I mean, a lot of people yep. I don't think are big fans of that, but, uh, but you know, it's one of those, you know, eat everything that's on your plate. But she said that when, when her mom wasn't looking, she would shove it behind the refrigerator. And then and you know, it sitting starts, there. starts stinking after a while, you know, and to pull that out with all the liver and onions back. <laughs> She's oh, like, what? I got in trouble, but <laughs> yeah. one of my least favorite things, and I and even now the smell of it turns my stomach is pork chops. I don't, I don't like pork chops. And Garrett always says to me, You haven't had them the way that he makes them, but I'm like, but I can't get past it. So when I was a kid, I'd sit there and it's a texture thing for me, right? And I'd chew them, chew them, and then I would do the pick up the napkin and do the cough. <laughs> like next. <laughs> <I'm> like, nope. <laughs> Nope. You know, and it's something that's like I used to I used to like pork chops a lot more than I do nowadays. Um, I don't know why I've grown out of the love of pork chops. But I am like so picky, but my brother will eat anything that's not nailed down. Like he will try anything. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas me, no, it's it's just funny that we're so different that way. And, you know? and it's weird because it's like I don't mind pulled pork and things like that, like barbecued pork and like if you can, you know, make it all like shredded Bacon. and stuff. And bacon and stuff. But I don't like um, pork steaks and pork chops that much. Pork, I don't know what it is about pork chops, but I'm just not a fan. Mm. Um, I had, oh yeah, so we read that one already. Right? Don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Abby says, a pasta dish I make is garlic and mushrooms. You've won me already. In a pan with butter and then add a bag of spinach and add cooked bow tie pasta. Add heavy cream. Let cook mm. for a few minutes. Turn off and let, oh, that sounds actually really good. I like spinach. Mm. I do like spinach. And just a little olive oil. There we go. Um, I love shoes, but I hate to wear them. I love cooking, but I don't eat much. Actually, the more I cook, especially or especially bake, the less I eat. That's your weight loss plan. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, I need to try that one. Right? Uh, boiled peanuts are just raw peanuts that have been boiled in salted water for hours, great with beer or cold soda. The salty, soft peanuts are totally addictive from Google. Thank you. I didn't know we do chicken, were. fajita powder, red and orange pepper. In the crock pot makes a great meal, super easy. That sounds pretty good. We yeah. do like doing chicken fajitas. That is here. easy. That sounds really good. Uh, I will post the pulled chicken recipe. It is low in everything except for protein. Cool. Thanks. Which is good. And nice. taste. <laughs> Thank you for the fun sprint. You're welcome, Sue. Thank you for joining. Same with me and berries. It's a texture thing for me and I can't mm. eat them. Totally get it. Totally get it. The same with me and coconut. Mm. Um, I had a hard time with pork chops. Uh, ever since I visited our family in Canada that have a pig farm. Oh, no doubt. No doubt at all. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining. Uh, this was a fun way to spend a uh, Monday evening. Um, but yeah, you guys got anything good coming up on your channels? Oh, I do have something I need to mention. So on the 14th of April at 1.30, it's a Sunday. Not this Sunday, but next um, at 1.30 Eastern on Cozy Mystery Party Facebook group, we're going to be doing um, our awards for best. Oh, cool. Uh, for Cozies for a different uh, round with all sorts of. So if you don't belong to the Cozy Mystery Faith Party, Cozy Mystery Party Facebook group, they're amazing. And they're always doing something. So we're doing that at 1.30 uh, um, through their group. And so it'll be live and awesome. um, there's some really good categories. So I'm really excited. That's exciting. Fun time. Yes. Anything from you, Storm? I, I need to do my March wrap up and then an old school April tag, but I haven't filmed any of those. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 
What about you, Lee? I have tomorrow coming out a tag that Storm tagged me in. For warning, I, I'm a crybaby. I've discovered that in this video that I was a crybaby. I am a crybaby. What's the tag? It's about like death. Oh. Oh, that sounds fun and cheerful. Well, weren't you guys, you said I couldn't tag you in, Tiffany. <laughs> I, oh, well, that, that, I mean. She's like, oh, good thing. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and then the other thing I want to mention is at the end of the month is my book two birthday. <gasps> so I'm going to do some kind of sprint of some kind for maybe the whole day. I'm not sure yet. Um, it would be on a Monday because that just coincides with a Passover and B the actual day. So oh, I might right. I might take over your guys Monday night sprints. Enjoy. Okay. That was cool. Okay. Yes, yeah. That's I mean you guys or can all come on. I'm not, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's for sure. But I'm so close to five hundred subscribers, so it'd be really cool if I could hit five hundred subscribers by that day. Put the word out, people. Yep. So put Dark the word out. Creation, I'm just people. Manifesting it out there, putting it out in the world. So if you ain't subscribed to her yet, go do it. <laughs> oh. Right now. Right now, we'll wait. Stop what you're doing. Go. Yep. <laughs> Assignment for tonight. <laughs> that's right. Subscribe to Lee. Yep, um, that's amazing, and I Lee. have nothing. Like I nothing? will probably do some <laughs> some <laughs> vlog. I haven't filmed anything since Thursday. I need to get back into it. Um, I just fall off the wagon for a bit, and then it's just like, do you know what I mean? But so. you make when you're on the wagon. You know, when she's so, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. When you're on the I'm totally kidding. Um, <laughs> you, I mean, you put out a lot of videos, like daily. I know. Stuff. And then I take so a break. You I put a lot of like videos a, and I take a break. <laughs> I'm washed, people. I've given you it my, you yeah, know what I mean? That's all you're getting. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you all so much. Uh, Sunday on your channel, Tiffany. Yeah. And I know no, PK is doing them I think the I have a thing. I think I have a show on Sunday. If you're in the killing time with cozy, yeah, I think, okay. In, in case you had nobody had seen that or whatever, we went down to just one scavenger hunt chat day. Okay, but you can pick whichever scavenger hunt you want to do. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, out of the two. Two. because she has uh, something she has to do, and then she has her malice in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's and right. You so, got a busy month, don't you? Yeah, so we only yeah, have yeah, like yeah. two weeks to chat on. I think. And okay, so, fair enough. Fair enough. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, I might do this again on Saturday. We shall see. But uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. Have a great rest of your night and rest of your week. Talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Bye, Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Sarah.